Cables, we're live. You really shouldn't be doing that. What? <laughs> we're live. Don't, oh, don't do fuck. that shit. Hey, everybody, welcome to Western <laughs> States of Discord. You saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we're back from our two week hiatus. Yeah, uh, Easter up. lasted. Yeah. Easter lasted two weeks for us. Yeah. Because my, my parents were going to be in, fr in France on Easter, and uh, I had to be the Easter Bunny on Easter. So we did it a, a week early with my family, and then last week I was, uh, I was in a costume. Do you, do you have for, pictures? For, yeah, I have pictures, but I ain't sharing them on stream. <laughs> Not on stream, share them with me. Yeah, um, all right, all right. Yeah. And Jeff's an asshole. I, uh, yeah, and then Jeff also was doing Wingnut Roundup. Which, that just takes all of our audience. So it doesn't... It wouldn't have mattered if we did it last week anyway. That explains last week. I don't remember. Why did we miss the week before that again? Because I uh, had... Uh, my parents and I were doing Easter... Yeah, and I was I was going through some shit. I'll tell you guys off air sometime. I might have lost my place to live. Yeah. We talked oh, about that. No. Yeah. It's all good now though. It, it's all good now? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. what I figured. Yeah. I, I I just went into panic mode and like I Yeah, yeah. He did and needed to talk, so we talked. <laughs> yeah. Is, is is the little one out with you, dear? All right. So this week, we're talking fast food and video games. For the most uh, part. I'm wearing shorts today instead of PJs. Don't ask why I'm also wearing a sweatshirt. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Things started to warm up around here, so I bought a new pair of shorts. Nobody was asking that question. You just brought it up. I stood up. That's what, what brought that up. Nobody could no see. one was asking about the sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that is a nice sweatshirt. I like it. Uh, this is the one with the collar pops. For no fucking reason. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, sir, do you want to talk about some video game stuff, or do you want to talk about Nickelodeon drama? Um, I haven't seen the full documentary to have full context. I've just seen clips and shit that have come out about it. I don't need to see the full documentary, Oof. because people on YouTube have been making their own documentaries about it for years now. So. Yeah. <laughs> I know most of what happened. Yeah. They're, they're, I've been on YouTube you can't and tell on the me and a person. You can't tell me that Nickelodeon didn't know about the proclivities of this guy uh, when you look at their fucking logo at the time. <laughs> yeah, because he owned the fucking network. He has a foot-shaped <laughs> pool. Yeah. He's the only one that's more blatant about his foot fetish than Quentin Tarantino. Nothing? Alright. I you, You're 100% accurate. What can we add to that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A giggle? Uh... Um, so, I want to talk about this, uh, this toxicity rating thing. Yes, 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 yes. No. So, I was made aware of this by, uh, Friday Night Tights. Yeah. 
And basically the whole point of this is, you know, like, you know, oh, the ESRB has a rating for t content in games. Why don't we have a rating for the toxicity of these games fan bases? Oh, I do remember you bringing this up. This this shit is yeah. fucking. And dumb. for anybody Literally. wondering, no, this is not a joke. They're Grimshie, serious. Grimshie, if you need the link, uh, it, I posted it in the live show. All right, cool. Um, yeah, this feels like 2014 all over again. When did you post it? Oh, our live show. Oh, thanks. I can't get to it now. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll you want me to DM it to you. That yeah, DM it to me better? because uh, I have to pull that shit up on my phone, otherwise it shows up on stream. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll DM it to you. There you go. That is a haunting bunny mask, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't it like that at all. <laughs> Here, I'll share it with Sir. He can have nightmares, too. I think I'm weaker than I actually am, don't you? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> I don't know why... In all honesty, I don't know why people think it's so creepy. It's not exactly the most, um, pleasant of masks, but I'm also looking uh, at it from the perspective of the person inside. It's not the dead-eyed thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, it, I don't know. I don't like it. Anyways, so, it, at least, <laughs> it at least somewhat resembles a bunny, but I swear, the, the biggest issue with that thing was... The person who asked me if I would volunteer to help out because uh, their regulars had uh, couldn't do it said, oh, it'll be like 10, 20 minutes. I spent 45 minutes in that damn thing. <laughs> Oof. 45 yeah. minutes. And it, it gives you and, an appreciation for mascots and how hard yeah. these fuckers work. And... I could have walked away at any point, but I'm a goddamn parent, and I know some of the kids were actually looking forward to seeing the Easter Bunny, so how the fuck am I going to walk away and just be like, oh, kids, yeah, Easter Bunny took off. I went, I went to Basically, school with a kid. Basically, she's saying, I ain't no bitch. I went to school with a kid who came from a family of mascots. <laughs> it was just like his dad, his grandpa, his uncles, they were all mascots <laughs> at some point. I took there. that thing <laughs> off and I was literally <laughs> dripping sweat. Yeah. I I took off the suit. I took off the 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 mask, the the full full head mask and was dripping sweat off of my short ass hair. I yeah. took off the, the suit from the neck down and I was glad I was wearing a black shirt because from it, it was like a semicircle up to my shoulders down to between my nips was sweat. It was yeah. soaked. Yeah. Which felt fucking fantastic as soon as I pulled the damn thing off, though. Oh, yeah. Makes you want to jump in a pool. <laughs> yeah. We're delaying real cringe, though. Yeah, let, let's uh, let's time travel back to 2014 to something that's happening now. Well, <laughs> for some reason, in in light of because kind of GamerGate 2.0 is kind of happening right now because of people Sweet are Baby trying Game. to push it. I I've, I've seen some of that going on. Looks like YouTube to is it. being fucky for us again. Not just Sweet Baby Inc., but also like Black Girl Gamers and all these other extremely cringe Marxist fucking consulting groups. Yeah, I, I listened to uh, the Snark Tank with Chris Reagan, and some black guy and Tom Sweeney. And uh, they talked about Gamergate 2.0 coming in again, and they're like, I'm staying out of this one. We already did this shit. It's 
over it. <laughs> like... But a group called the Watch, which that's not ominous or anything, has developed the Toxicity Rating. The world's first rating system monitoring racism, gender discrimination, and the overall toxicity in online gaming communities. Get banned. I'm sorry. According, according to the site, each rating is created by surveying hundreds of gamers and represents the average amount of racism, gender discrimination, violence towards others, crude humor and controlled substance conversation experienced while playing online. A lot of gamers are stoners. Of course, they're going to talk about controlled substance. That's toxic mentality. Can't have that. Let, let's see what Call of Duty's rating is. I'm looking at <laughs> Minecraft right now. It's a 78% toxic. Racism, 75%. 75% racism? <laughs> you gotta up your it's, game, Call of Duty. No, it's it's more than that. <laughs> Gender it's, discrimination, 67%. It's way more than that, dude. <laughs> dude, you know what? This, this rating system makes me want to make a game that is so fucking... Hold on, hold like, on. Rimshi, we're gonna get to that because there's something about this site that I have to tell both of you guys. Oh, okay. let's look at Minecraft. It's only 62%. Controlled My substance favorite Call of Duty problem? is direct well, violent oh. threats, 90%. It's a first person shooter. What the fuck did you expect? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, it's a very I'm gonna fucking kill you in, in a game where you kill other players. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you refers to the imaginary gun and the imaginary body at the other end of the barrel. <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah, are there some threats that aren't that? Sure. Are they real? No. Well, most of them, no. The moment you start saying, I'm gonna swat you, that's a real threat. Yeah. Don't swat people. We are an anti swatting. Yeah, that's true. How that's the fuck is shit. my how the fuck is Let's Minecraft sixty two percent? What? How the hell is Minecraft sixty two percent? Toxic. Apparently sixty two according to sixty two percent of respondents, they've experienced toxicity playing Minecraft. Fifty six percent said they've experienced racism in Minecraft. Wait, hold on hold on real quick. I wanna go back to the Call of Duty thing. For a second. Controlled substances conversation, 82%. It's more than racism. Doubt. Uh, yeah, by the way, odd. I doubt. Controlled <laughs> substances is the uh, upper of the far, and crude humor is the lower of the far points, for because it's being cut off by the screen. Okay. Which that's Just the for those one, watching. It's like crude humor. Really? It's Call really? of Duty. But no, like, when you're listing crude humor as one of your points for toxicity in gaming, it's like, tell me you're a pussy without telling me that you're a fucking pussy. Yeah. If I don't greet you guys with an F slur before the show, how do I know that we're still friends? <laughs> That's... <laughs> But what's, <laughs> what's funny to me is the ones that say coming soon. One of which is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Survey. Let's see. But Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm gonna. Here's the thing, yes. though. When you go Extreme. to survey, this is what I was gonna talk about. When you go to survey, you can pick a game that you want to rate, and yeah. you don't <laughs> have to log in. No, you don't. 
you guys so want to I do the survey click. together? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing extreme okay. for Animal Crossing. <laughs> We need to come up with some s something that uh Let's see. What what what's a uh hilarious uh fuck you to this site? Well, How so? they did it. What do you mean? When I was watching Friday night, Look at the night, screen. they did Animal Crossing. I know, I can't see the full it's, uh, racism. Please indicate the interactive user-generated aspect of this game, including the usage of, inference of, or description of racism, xenophobic, and racist-based discrimination or, and or hate. Should we just do, uh, anti-white shit, or should we do, like... Yeah, because, like, the best part about this, Jables, is, what's like, the, when... When describing some of these things, like doing the survey, you can type in detailed descriptions of what you quote experienced. Should we do anti-furry shit? Wait, wait, wait. You know, the, the type of racism that should exist. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on, hold on. What's the name of the guy that owns the town in Animal Crossing? Oh shit! It's like Tom something, right? I think it is Rinky, Tom. I know your wife plays Animal Crossing. Ask her. Sweetheart. Sweetheart! Yes! Why would I call Jable Sweetheart? <laughs> you have before. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's Tom's full name in Animal Crossing? Or just the what? guy that runs the town. <laughs> the, the guy that runs the town or whatever. Did you play it? It's Tom! That's it! Okay, it's yeah, just Tom. Tom. It's just Tom. No! Well? It's his last name. Tom Dickery. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's funny. Alright. So, Hold Tom. On. Tom Bombadil. Rain That's Lord Tortum. of the Rings. Held by Tortimer. I know. Tortimer? No, it's Tom Nook. Okay. Tom Nook. Yeah. Do you, Tom Nook called me the N word. My name was the N word, but he still did it anyway. And I think that's wrong and racist. Yeah, like, like when you get to the race, when you get to the racism part, it says, you know, like, please indicate if the interactive user generated aspects of this game include the usage of or inference of or depiction, of, description of racist, xenophobic and race based discrimination and or hate. Where did you experience the racism? Audio chat gamers names. Please describe the type of racist content you observed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not going to be abused in any way whatsoever. <laughs> no, we're totally not abusing it right now. <laughs> no, definitely not. Hitting next. What's next? Violence. Please indicate if the interactive user generated aspects of this game include descriptions of inherent uh, inference of reference to or depictions of violence in any form. Yes. Did you experience viol violence and racism together? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tom Nook called me the N-word and said he was going to kill my entire family and all my sheep. <laughs> Tom Nook calling me the N-word is violence. <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> I like, um... But add in the doing... caveat, even though that was my name in the game. <laughs> on F and T, I think uh, one of the answers that Az gave while they're just like, like <coughs> told that bitch to get back in the kitchen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Gender discrimination. All of it. Mm. All of it. <laughs> yeah, just all of it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this world is full of assholes. <laughs> it didn't... It didn't update my gender preference every day without me telling it to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, wait. It didn't allow me to update my gender preference. <laughs> so I got misgendered constantly through the game. Depending on the day. <laughs> you smelled that right. Constantly. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> even, even a uh, fucking... Windows automatic autocorrect or, or spell check does not recognize that as a goddamn word. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's supposed to be a hyphen in there. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? What? I'd love if like the old paper clip from like uh. Word would just like pop up if you type that where it's just like, this is cringe. You're being cringe. Stop it. Okay. Uh Click other and type in the F slur. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! Uh, do no, we can't it, do, do that. It, we can't do, do that. It, That's do too it. obvious. Oh, wait. Uh, the F slur? Yeah, there we go. That's, I'll, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also because, like, it's visible on the screen, and I don't want yeah, to... Yeah, and also, I don't he's the only straight Twitch. one here. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, married. Man. That's close enough to being gay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's your age? Prefer not to say. What no, country no, are you from? Let's put it between 35 and 44 because that's the type of hysterical middle-aged women that come up with this shit. <laughs> All right. I think that's all the hydrants. Oh, there's one. Bastard snuck up on me. Why are you in the country? Yeah, I did. Who cares? What country? U.S. Uh, we appreciate I done, like, your Czech input. Republic or something like that. <laughs> we appreciate your input. Well, Want to help some more? Do I? There's... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. What uh, Valorant? What's the lowest one? Valorant's at seventy-seven. Apex is at seventy-six. Probably gonna be Minecraft. Yep, it's definitely Minecraft. <laughs> All Dude, games are be... at least 50% toxic. I'm going to be incredibly disappointed if by the time the score for Animal Crossing comes out that it's not 90% or higher. Yeah. <laughs> I know nobody's watching right now, but anybody that does watch this. Spam the fuck out of Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, they've already been, like, when they announced this on Twitter, they got fucking ratioed. Everybody was clowning on them. Also, this is a, this is a thing that I don't like. Crude humor, what does that mean? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pickaxe your pussy? I don't know. Because, like, if, the, like, the <laughs> basest of crude humor is, like, the fart joke. It's so fart jokes, Which, fart jokes, yeah. which me and my neighbor were making jokes, jokes about yesterday. to toxicity by these people's logic. <laughs> yeah. 
Which, by I that a logic, lined up during the show. But if I did have a fart, you bet by, I'm by the logic into the that mic. fart jokes contribute to toxicity. If you've ever seen the uh, the movie Elemental, the entire airball scene is one massive fart joke. It's the windbreakers versus the uh oh shit. What was the other team? I forget. Jeez, but it was another fart jokes. It, it was another fart joke. And then uh at, at, in the stands they're selling toot toot juice. Yeah. That's a straight up yeah. shark yeah. joke right yeah. there. Fart, <laughs> fart jokes are technically crude humor. So what do you yeah, mean by crude like the humor? they're like the basis level of crude humor. It's the fart joke. Farts will always be funny forever and ever. Yeah, you know, it's just like the pie in the face is the basis level of slapstick. There's a basis yeah. level to every form of comedy. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, what do you mean by crude humor? Yeah. Also, if you're sexual targeting... content in Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, never mind. A lot yeah. of Minecraft streamers getting in trouble for some shit. I was actually going to say, it's like, for, the, <laughs> for Minecraft, that one's actually surprisingly <laughs> low. <laughs> uh, hey, Dina. Yeah, but that's streamers. They're not in the game. But like, we You're know late. A kind of, hundred push-ups, Dina. We know how these kind of people operate, though. Like, if somebody were to, in a game lobby, say something like, suck my dick, it's like, oh, sexual content, sexual harassment. Yeah. We've done or, all this or someone's, ten years ago. <laughs> someone's go, uh, sitting there in a the lobby. Uh, yeah, last night my wife and I were uh, going at it. Oh, sexual content. Doesn't matter yeah. what comes after that. It's sexual content. It could be. And the dog fucking shoved its nose right onto my ass. And it was so cold. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it can even be like, who... my my wife isn't having sex with me as much lately. And that's sexual yeah. content. It's For, like, uh -oh. it's like uh, okay, I'm just trying to talk with my friends. <laughs> Who the fuck talks over disc Discord voice anymore? Or, or not Discord, uh, Minecraft voice anyway. <laughs> Why don't you use fucking Discord? That way you don't have to deal with the idiots. Like an adult. Well, we yeah. have to deal with some idiots. <laughs> I think it was the same stream of FNT that I was watching where somebody brought up. It's like, you know, like, it's like, man, do you remember, like, it's like the shit we have today is, like, so sanitized and tame compared to what it used to be it's like a modern warfare 2 game lobby that was the type of game lobby that would make legitimate white supremacist white supremacist rage and cry Wash. Yeah. oh old school halo 2 lobbies halo 3 too i played halo 3 yeah <laughs> we got fucking savage yeah. I was never much for shit talking, but D6, my best friend, whenever we played, I'd give him the mic and he would do his best to shit talk everyone. <laughs> yeah, I I was never much one for shit talking either. Never been good at it. Nope, never been good. My focus is on killing them, not not telling them how they're going to die. Yeah, my, my shit talking oh, is violence, How do you like that bitch? Violence take that you cunt. And that that's that's also the, um I think it was Jeremy Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers is just like you know, it's like, oh, it's I thought like you were people who are the quartering for a second. No, no, <laughs> not that one. But um from Geeks and Gamers, he's like, you know he's like anybody who's actually a gamer already knows this, but like when you're playing a competitive game, it's like the two people that get shit on the worst is the person at the bottom of the scoreboard and the person that won. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One gets called a scrub, the other gets called a cheater. Every time. Exactly. That is exactly what he said, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because gamers know! <laughs> if you win, you're a cheater. If you lose, you're a fucking scrub. 
get good. <laughs> and like, they also like, I guess these same people like, oh, we're making a petition to like, make this a part of like the official video. Don't sign that shit. These people are fucking losers. Yeah. The, uh, the official video game ES ESBR rating? ESRB. Yeah, whatever. I don't pay attention to that shit already. Why would I pay attention to it if this shit came about? Hell, I'd pay attention to it less. I would actively avoid the e ESRB rating. Oh, this says it's well, mature. Yourself. Here, two-year-old son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, I thought you would pay attention to it a little bit more because you have a kid. Fuck no. And it's like, oh, we we need to. I will judge the game for my the, son. Thank you very much. But they're like, we need to protect people and like keep them safe from like these toxic environments. And it's just like, you motherfuckers are the problem. You've always been the problem. Yeah. In these fact, types of people I, I are the reason to say that. We coddle people way too fucking much. Yeah, yeah, probably. These types of people are the reason why when I was joking about the Proud Boys with a Colombian immigrant and a female friend at a bar, and I was joking about like their initiation shit, this was long before they were considered like a totally racist thing and all that. Yeah. And... These types of people are the reason why I'm joking with my two friends, an immigrant and a female, about the initiation process and how I should just join because it sounds funny. And then oh, they've got, this other they've couple got... just comes up to me to lecture me about it. It's like, I'm sorry, we're having a laugh. And really, you know, like, stuff like the Proud Boys, it's like, is not unique you know yeah. it's just one of many organizations that started off with good intentions but got co-opted by fucking extremists yeah yeah it started off to just be like an adult fraternity like the elks log well i say co-opted like there are extremists within it that are trying to co-opt it yeah while others are still sticking to the original purpose <laughs> Yeah, but it's no yeah, it's no difference than like the Elks Lodge or something like that. It's like Yeah. It's just dudes being dudes is what they were trying to do. So so they extremists they... no matter what the organization, extremists always try to find a way to seize power. Because that's what extremists do. Yeah. And they fuck everything up for the rest of us. We can't have fun. If anymore. they're not trying to seize power they're it's because they're preparing to do so i'm extreme for fun i should seize power and just make things fun so they've got gta online on here and i already went through and i i, I rated it and it's no across the board there's no content that's sexual or violent or anything like that <laughs> yeah it's like it's like that's my hope is like gta will have like a gl almost like glowing like oh this is a toxic score while well, as animal crossing is like this cesspool of sin and debauchery <laughs> oh by the way dina if you want context there's this website they're rating the toxicity of here's the, the context right up here <laughs> specifically they are they are arguing that there should be a rating attached to games that measures the toxicity of the player base. Yeah. Which is which dumb. how how do you put that on a game if you don't already know the player base? Also, also it's like that would be something that would be constantly fluctuating as more yeah, and more and people add reviews. I would argue ways. this should be non-existent for mature rated games. I mean... It, it should be non-existent entirely, for sure. But yeah. it should be extra non-existent for mature rated games. 
Like GTA well, yeah, Online. As we pointed out with Call of Duty, it's like, you know, like one of their toxicity rates is like, you know, like, oh, you know, like uh, violent threats, 90%. It's Call of Duty. What are you, stupid? Yeah. Um, how many of those are violent threats and how many of those are game banter? Yeah. It, Gina, exactly. Why are people so afraid of life? Well put. Yeah. Well, as I said earlier, with the you know, the fact that like crude humor is one of their metrics, it's like, tell me you're a pussy without telling me you're a pussy. No. This entire show is crude humor. It's like, if you can't handle crude humor, if crude humor is a marker of toxicity to you, you're the problem. You need to get the fuck over yourself. I've Maybe get in therapy. And obviously, when you're talking crude humor, you're not talking sexual content, because otherwise you'd be including it under sexual content. So I, I've been, uh, I've been practicing being okay with like burping on mic. That's technically crude humor. Yeah, but it's like, how can you practice being okay with burping on mic? You're I, either I okay with it or reflex. you're not. I have a natural reflex to just mute the mic when I burp. Oh. I, I lean that. into it and I go, hold on. <clears throat> that was <Yeah>. weak. <laughs> yes, it was. You should feel it. Yeah, I've been getting better. Well, Dina it was only you, one air gulp. I've, I've you, you gotta massive, you gotta give me a break. I, I've pushed Here, off some me... massive burps on no. Mike with Dina. That's a little better. Yeah. Who and fart jokes <laughs> fall under crude humor? Yes. Yeah, Dina, we were mentioning that earlier. So, yeah. But the thing is, is that, like, the people who think this shit up, the people that are pushing for this, are people that don't actually play video games. Yeah. At all. No, they see people enjoying something and it's not under their control so they want to control it yeah they're trying to yuck somebody else's yum yeah and i guarantee you i, I smell I'm almost cake. psychic on this nice i'm almost psychic on this <laughs> but a good portion of the people behind this are middle-aged white bitches. Hands down. Oh, for sure. They they probably paid money into the Anna Sarkeesian uh, Alliance Discord. or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you guys see that shit the, the, with the her disc... in her 40th birthday? Yeah. Where she married herself? <laughs> yeah. No, so, it, like, was a, even, it was a wedding themed. Herself. It was a wedding themed birthday party it's just like yeah tell me that you're not alone and regretting your fucking life decisions yeah fuck you you grifting bitch you get what you deserve also Dina for your message also for a great burp just uh chug a spark just chug a sparkling water that reminds me of the video of the guy that chugs the sparkling water and then he tries to hold the burp in and he smashes his head into the fucking garage door. Damn it. Have you seen that? No. No? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. You have to see it. It's one. Of, it's really one of the funniest videos on the internet. What, did he, did he fucking get lightheaded and fucking fall out? No. <laughs> It's so short. Eh, give me a second. YouTube's been loading really slow for me lately. I don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing. Sometimes. But yeah, like, that was the other thing, is that, like, just further evidence that the people behind this are stupid and have no idea what the fuck they're doing is that they've left this open to the internet. Yeah. Hey, we've got a crab on YouTube. 
Oh, we're streaming on YouTube too? Yeah, we're streaming on oh, YouTube, yeah. Twitch, and Kick. All three. Oh, damn. If they have somebody who's like responsible for like filtering through those surveys, I'd hate to be that motherfucker. I'm sure they have to swap them out at least once a week. If hey, not more. Cats, thanks for the biddies. Now show them them titties. Cats! Insult Jables! Do it! <laughs> Alright. So, Rimshi, I'm gonna send you the link so you can pull it up on stream. Yes. Yes, I shall. And then, uh... Sir, I'm gonna drop the link in the live show so you can pull it up. Hmm. Sure. It's not a full minute 12. Your it's literally just like. Your man might have a Star seconds. Wars Lego set Death Star. God damn. Seconds. It's just kind of on repeat. And I gotta watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Hold on. All right, we ready to, to post it? Your man might have the Star Wars Lego set oh, Death Star. Christ. But can he chug a sparkling water and not burp? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Your man might have the Star Wars Lego set Death Star. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say there's no way he he's not gonna burp and there's no way for us to know how long that thing's been open so I doubt there's fizz in there and then he does that shit <laughs> he burps anyway so just smashes into the garage <laughs> it's one of the greatest videos yeah. on the internet <laughs> My favorite part is just like, what do I do? I'm surprised you guys haven't <laughs> seen that before. Huh? That's uh, beautiful. <laughs> it's a perfect video. Short, sweet, simple. Everything works. It's like Honestly, some videos need that long form. Those are great videos. Some videos require this sort of short form. Those are great videos. This is beautiful use of the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was starting to question. Star, but can he chug a can he chug a sparkling water without burping? Oh no! What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I went through so many. Oh, this is so bullshit moments. Like at first, I was I was sitting there going. There's no way, we, we have no way of knowing how long this thing's been open, so it's probably not even carbonated. And then it's just sitting there just, I'm like, Th is there even anything in there? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> Yeah. It's yeah, definitely but... in the top 10 of greatest videos on the internet. <laughs> The best part is, is like, that was definitely like, basically instantaneous, like, oh, I didn't think this through. Yeah. It's also technically crude humor. Oh, man. <laughs> to bring it back to that, it's technically crude humor. <laughs> it's also slapstick, because it could be both. Yeah. And Javels is dying over there. Yeah. <laughs> that dude straight right. up, he fucking brained himself. <laughs> <sighs> oh, jeez. That was wonderful. I think I saw the other side for a second there. <laughs> I shit my pants. I need water. But I know I'm not getting any. Oh, I'm watching it again. 
Yeah, while you're doing that, I'm going to I'm going to use the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cuz I did a bunch of shit in my pants. Why? Right. Can you try to sparkling water and not burp? Uh. All right. Oh my gosh! Uh, What do I do? (laughs) Your man might have the Star Wars Lego set Death Star. I like how this. uh, I like how this one channel just uploaded it as like a minute and twelve seconds. What do I do? I like how he he starts the next go through as soon as he hits his head. The new screen's not all, all up yet, and I've already heard the audio for the for <laughs> the start of the video. Yeah. Somebody said pause screen. I'm going to see. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking nailed it, dude. <laughs> Screenshot that. I want to. I want that to be something. I don't know. I don't know what it will be. But screenshot it. Send it to me. <laughs> I'm just gonna get you the entire window. You do with it as you will. Yeah, that's all I need. Oh, fucking sweet. <laughs> Yeah, I'll work on that after work tomorrow. Oh. I I almost this is one want of those to... images. This is one of those images that you would post somewhere. And the people that know, know. <laughs> the people that don't know are like, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> I almost want to get uh, a, a short gif of him actually hitting his head on the, the garage door. And use yeah. that as our notification thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Crab, do you know how to make gifts? It says, boy, do we have a job for you. I'm surprised you guys haven't seen that video, though. <laughs> I'm a married father so I think it's, it's kind of reasonable since for me before you had a kid how long has it been around oh it's I think I first saw it in like 2018 2019 Okay, uh, maybe I did it, too. Yeah, it was but, even pre-marriage. But it was TikTok, and I don't go on TikTok, so who knows? It wasn't originally on TikTok, I don't think. Yeah. Maybe it was. Well, oh. the thing is, though, is that there's such a massive amount of content that's uploaded to the internet on any given day. Yeah, but this, it also feels like this is something I would have shared with you guys beforehand. So maybe it's no. on me. No, that was enti- that was entirely new to me. Yeah, so that's on me. I know I've shown it to Dina a million times. <laughs> yeah. Everybody in the audience, you're welcome for the best video on the internet. Short, sweet, concise, beautiful. Also, for the top. The, su- the top comment is just perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, what do I do? Uh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next one down. This is a modern comedy masterpiece. It packs so much in, uh, into less than 20 seconds. Hubris, comeuppance, shock, bodily functions, physical, physical slapstick, slapstick, and somebody getting hurt. Most comedy writers dream of being this funny. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I can't argue with that statement. It is 
way too true. Talking it was probably guy, written uh, by the guy who did this. <laughs> the sheer panic that sets in once he chugs it is hilarious. Most accurate representation of life I think I've ever seen. Back. Yeah, I know yes. how I know how to not burp when drinking some sort of uh, carbonated drink, but the alternative is it comes out the other end. Yeah. Usually not alone. Course. Usually not alone. Fuck <laughs> some of these comments, man. <laughs> I like how he mentioned Star Wars and then sounds like she'd mock him for hitting the garage. <laughs> yeah. It's also universally loved. Technically crude humor, but clean. He even says, oh my gosh, instead of, oh my god. Yeah. You know, this is a video it's, for it's everybody. It's almost awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's a video for everybody. This is slapstick gold. Classic. Escalates as if planned by a master. Bless this guy for having the uh, humility to upload this gem. I guarantee you this was planned. That being said, uh, I don't think he knew how much of an issue he'd be having. Uh, this this one's fun. I actually woke up laughing from dreaming about this video. That's how profound of an effect it has on me. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason the only reason I say this was planned is because why the fuck else would you have your your garage door that low <laughs> and still open? I don't know. Seems like a high school kid. Maybe he was just getting his bike out. Yeah. <clears throat> also, if it's not one of those types that like automatically opens, I've seen a lot of people half-ass that shit. Yeah. Yeah, but it's there's like, a huge difference. Uh, there's a huge. I can step under it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. This strikes me as like planned <laughs> if it's planned he's a it's, fucking if genius. it's planned yeah no it i think that it's planned but that doesn't detract from it it actually improves it my thing you is that it's like it's like, even if you're a, even if you're a good <laughs> actor it's hard to replicate that genuine like look and sound oh my of <laughs> No, I, I think he was actually panicking a little bit, but I think he, he understood. I like what? <laughs> I, th Who? I think he understood what was going to happen and was yeah. just like, I'm going to panic and I'll just make sure I run towards the garage door. <laughs> Someone else here? No. no, no. Soundboard. Ah. That's good. I like that shit. <laughs> Yes, that was very good. There we go. Toxicity rating. Also good. Not for the <laughs> reasons that the people creating it intended, though. Yeah. It is very good to make fun of. All right. Back on the theme of talking about video games. Yes, oh, yes. video games. All right, what we hitting up now? Uh, just the topic of uh the uh stop publishers destroying games. Yeah. All right. I think it's worth talking about now that people are here, especially. Uh, sir, you watched the full video. You want to talk about it a bit? Yeah, sure. And I'm going to post the petition in the chat. <clears throat> Which chat? 
and really, you know, like, chat. what the guy is asking for in the video is not unreasonable. Yeah, I have the... Basically, his argument is, is like, he's not demanding that publishers continue to support old games, because that's well, just unrealistic after a while. Well, let's but do, that let's when do the... They, Let, Hold let's on. do a little background on it first. Okay. Before we get into that. So, essentially, um, a thing that's happening is live-supported games. When a company stops supporting that game, the game's just gone. Yeah. Even though you paid 60 bucks for it or whatever. And Nintendo's yeah. the worst just... about this. Uh, debatable. A well, lot of this sparked from Ubisoft stopping support for a game called The Crew. Oh, no, no. I, I, I get that that's where it comes from, but <clears throat> if you really look at it, Nintendo's probably the worst about this because um, God, I, I have a burp right there and it doesn't want to come up. Uh, <laughs> it's more yeah. polite than I am. Uh, but if you look at all their games it doesn't matter how old it is they will go after you for copyright uh if for for any reason if you if if they're not making money off of it or they haven't approved it they will go after you for that shit yeah yeah nintendo's really shit i'm surprised nintendo hasn't gone after like secondhand sellers to try to get some of that cash i um, think they have yeah when it comes to... They got shot down because of it, but I think they have. I didn't mean to actually press that. That just kind of yeah. happened. Uh. <laughs> this is the, um, the, the cult of... And it is a cult at this point. The cult of Nintendo is incredibly sad to me. It's yeah. like, you never see people who are so rabid in their defense of a company that acted hates them yeah. yeah it don't don't get me wrong i love nintendo in their games yeah they make amazing They're, games they they, they put are out fucking anti-consumer as shit though yes yeah that doesn't mean i'm not going to be critical of them i they are incredibly play, abusive to the people that buy their products <laughs> i play my i play my switch almost every day I, like, it, um, I've owned I've owned it for years now, and that justified the entire <clears> cost, <throat> just the amount of hours that I put into it. Like for yeah, anybody no, that's I've... aware of um, a YouTuber called Imp Women, mm. he has a really that's a great. Name I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> he has a really great video on Nintendo's hatred of the Smash community. Yeah. And how well, they have yeah, gone uh, out of their way to fuck over that player base. Yeah, they shut down like an entire. Uh, they shut down an entire competition like a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. Like Nintendo makes anti-consumer decisions that don't even make sense. Like no, other game is... companies are just like, oh yeah, you can like play our stuff. Like that's free advertising. Nintendo took a while to come to the same conclusion yeah there was there was one guy that got his hands on a specific like nintendo magazine that was a limited release in japan in like the mid 90s and there's mm. hardly any copies out there and he got his hands on one and he uploaded the pages to the internet and nintendo sued him yeah. And I I think part of their lawsuit is they wanted that copy back or something. It's like, dude. <coughs> oh, man. But damn, do they make good games. It's fucking... It's... Yeah, I think that's part of the problem, though, is that because the games they make are so good, that it's almost <laughs> impossible to actually get people to the point like no like the way that you treat customers is bullshit and you need to stop we're never going to get to that point yeah 
because they're going to keep getting money from me. Like, I, I don't... The amount of hours I've I put into Nintendo games, I don't see myself not buying another one because they're just too fun. And yeah. Yeah, honestly, the only saving grace they have is that their games are enjoyable. They do try and push the uh, the hardware. Uh, not necessarily to the extremes like uh, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC gaming, but, I mean, look at the Wii. Who would have thought that sort of controller setup would make sense? And then they come out with the Switch. Who would have thought um, uh, a game system that could be mobile would make sense? Nintendo. Yeah, and they, they, and they, they try do to that make stuff. everything affordable for the family they, as well. They try and be affordable and innovative. They have a lot of good things going for them. Their biggest issue? Well, they're exceedingly anti-consumer. Affordable is a bit questionable. And Fleming kind of covers some of that in this video. In, in comparison to other uh gaming systems yeah, and stuff when you're looking at five or six when you're looking at five or six hundred dollars for an xbox or a playstation at a minimum in like uh, 250 a, for a switch 250 like, 350 it's... 450 when it was new that's pretty affordable by comparison no. so I'll, but I'll I, I don't disagree that's still that's that is still though. expensive that is still yeah. expensive but in in they price gouge in other ways. Oh yeah, yeah. They they never reduce the prices of their old games on the marketplace. Just they never do it. But I've I've also gotten probably about five thousand dollars worth of fun time spent out of the money I spent on my Switch. So yeah, I'm not... I I. Because I pay for their online shit, I get access to Nintendo 64 games, NES games, Super NES yeah. games, Game Boy games. Like I was, I was playing Mario Kart 64 with my cousin last night. It, he lives all the way down in Tacoma, and I just I can play. Him, I was like, hey, you want to play some Mario Kart 64? I got a couple hours to kill. And he's like, oh fuck yeah! And so we just hopped <laughs> on. We just yeah. So, yeah. but because they're providing that availability, it gives them the excuse to be very anti-consumer with the rest of it, uh, at least in the eyes of the law, which is really lame, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, you, they give you, if you're paying for their online, they give you access to a shit ton of money worth of games over several consoles that you would need the console for without they emulate it on the switch and it's pretty great i can play i can play star star fox 64 with the ability to pause mid-game and turn off the system oh uh man let's not get into by, nintendo and emulation because we'll be here all night by the way well, Rishi, that, uh they made a shit ton of nintendo 64 controllers you might want to go online and buy some yeah, I've been waiting to actually have the money to do so. <laughs> okay, cool. My cousin bought me one for my birthday. It's been a fucking game changer. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, oh, it's yeah. already sold out. God damn it. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It's still actually in stock. Which is surprising. It's been in stock for like the last month. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Usually it sells out. Well, probably, probably what happened was they realized, oh, these were actually selling out. Um, we should probably... There it came. We should probably fucking, uh... Mm. We should probably just stock up for a while, and then I'll sell it. That or no one knows they're in stock again. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh... 
Oh, crap, you don't have your N64? We should go get that. I have an N64. Somewhere. I, got my I do apps. too, it's at my parents' place. I wasn't using it anymore, so... My sister and all of our kids are living there, and I was just like... You guys take the N64. Let the kids play it. Fuck it. Um, anyways. Like, I'll come back occasionally to judge how your children hold the controller. <laughs> yeah. Well, we did... I don't know. My parents are gamers. My sister's a gamer. Her kids are gamers. Like, uh... My oldest niece and nephew were ranked top five uh, for a competitive Fortnite in the state. So. I don't know. They play games. All right, I'm purchasing Ucart and check out. I'm purchasing it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Apply coupons. Only one coupon and it probably won't get me shit. She's over here just like, shut up and take my body. Yeah. I need my son to know the absolute horror we had when it came when it came to uh first person shooters playing Goldeneye using the playing C Nintendo and... back in the day. Yeah. Works great for Mario Kart. I was playing some Goldeneye. A little wonky. Yeah, we basically had to wait till 2001 for yeah. Bungie to revolutionize how shooters were done on consoles. Yeah. Well, uh, Crab, everybody had a crush on the chick from Long Long Ranch. It's not. I'm sure there's more fan art too. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot. My question is which one got more attention, Mayron or Ruta? Mm. Tough question, isn't it? Yeah, especially with the internet's obsession with the Vaporeon. Yeah. Anyways, we're here to talk about some real shit. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this degeneracy. So Ubisoft. We're, we're a show about for... nothing but degeneracy. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so Ubisoft shut down support for a game called The Crew, and so essentially nobody could play it anymore. Yeah. And so. The petition that I posted, the Stop Killing Games, um, they want to enact some sort of, at least companies to agree to a policy or to enact something into law. It's not, it's not totally clear. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the background sir if you want to keep going with the other shit yeah like um oh, I think shit. the ideal would be a law well as I was saying earlier you know like the guy like he's not even asking for the, that much really like he's not even asking that um, publishers continue to support old games which would become unreasonable after a while his own like his main thing the thing that he wants that he wants to push for is that the publishers have to leave the game in a functioning state when they pull yeah. support i actually have the uh let the community take it over basically yeah so rip i sent you a screenshot 
Yep. You can feel free not to being pull linked. it up on screen. There's nothing cursed about it. Uh, I, I, I yeah, can I haven't see paused it. on like on... what he. I have it paused on what he actually wants the petitions to do. Because there's been a concept in gaming, especially PC gaming, for a while now, of what's called abandonware. Yeah. And it's basically, you know, like, these are games that are kept alive solely by the communities that play them because the publishers left them behind long ago. Yeah. It's a lot like, like how I don't think piracy is necessarily a crime because if you can't get the game any other way... Yeah, Subspace like? Continuum uh, is kind of that. Because, you know, like, like some publishers or like some game devs are like real ones. One of my favorite examples is um, Alien vs. Predator 2. Mm -hmm. So when Monolith went under, like they basically took that game with them. So you can't get this game on Steam. You can't get it on good old games. You can't get it on any service. It's not available because the company fucking took it with them. Yeah. So one of the developers of the game published the entirety of the game's source code online. Good. And from that, people have been able to, you know, like, you know, work out ways so that people can still install the game and play it and they keep multiplayer servers for the game going to this day. Yeah. If but you've ever case, heard of Subspace Continuum, of the, it's a similar idea. That was only because people that actually made that game said, no, fuck the company. We're going to make sure that this game survives. We're just going to put it out in the wild. Yeah. There's a... There's a game I played a long time ago called Eternal Eden. Mm. Great game. Recommend everybody play it. It's a fun little like RPG turn-based thing. Excellent story. Nice. Um, at the end of the game, though, there was this thing. is like a little developer note. It's like, we noticed you played through the entire game, and this is a pirated version. Um, this was made independently. If you'd like to donate some money, that would be cool. And I gave the guy like 200 bucks. Because, like, I had such a good time playing that game. I wouldn't have bought it. I got a pirated version from a friend that was like, hey, you should really play this. And then I saw that website and I was like, yeah, I'll pay for this. I'll, I'll more than pay for this. This was awesome. I had a great time. Yeah. Uh, piracy isn't your enemy, game developers. Just so you know. You know what? Speaking of which, there was a video I watched recently. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find it. Ba dude basically said piracy is uh, is good for gaming. Yeah, it's advertisement. No, he, he had other reasons why it's not bad. but And a lot more yeah. solid reasons. Yeah, it, it, um, we might have watched the same video. Like, a lot of it was, I wouldn't play this game if I had to pay for it. Nope, different video. Lexatoria? Le Lextorias? Okay, I think. Yeah, different. Yeah, different video. Yeah. Um, anyways. Sorry. We keep sidetracking. 
effectiveness. So what he wants to do while the game is being supported is he wants them to do absolutely nothing to support the game. Whatever. But after support ends, so the game doesn't just dissolve into the ether, uh, just three points. Nothing crazy. Games sold must be left in a functional state. Games sold must require no further connection to the publisher or affiliated parties to the function. Sorry, or affiliated parties to function. Uh, the above also applies to games that have sold microtransactions to customers. So essentially, if you like buy in-game items, you get to keep those. That's what that last one is. Yeah. Which and, is reasonable and should not have to be mentioned, but... Yeah. Mm. It's, it's three points, all of them extremely reasonable. Uh, I would add a fourth point. Um, allow player-made servers for online play, but that's that might be asking it a little too much. I mean, if it's an online multiplayer game, then no, I don't think it is. It's it's debatable. <laughs> the, these are three very good first steps. Well, when you abandon it, it sh you should provide access to player made or player owned servers. Yeah. When you shut oh, down I... your own, as long as yeah, your so servers are running, no, you can have it exclusive. That's fine. Yeah, I, I, I'm i looking at Subspace Continuum because now it's available on Steam. Um, I remember playing this shit in high school, and I'm kind of getting nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And it's, a, it's technically Abandonware. It was, uh, well, not Abandonware. It was the, uh, the developers, the original developers stopped um supporting it but the community was just so huge that and it was it was no longer supported by the time i found it but the community was so huge that it was community run yeah and that is perfectly cool i i'm definitely going to play this at some point in the relatively near future yeah, and it's only it's only like 94 megabytes of data which is pretty cool. Yeah, it video games are the only medium that isn't preserved. And it's really irritating. Not actively preserved. Well, I mean it it, it is by the consumer base. Uh I know I know of a few YouTubers like when Nintendo shut down the Nintendo 3DS shop. Um, they bought every game so yeah. that they would have the software and you I'm know. not saying what they did with it I'm just saying all those games are still available it's unfortunate <laughs> but there is a pervasive you know mindset now in like the AAA gaming industry especially like, a lot of people have heard of games as a service. Which is fucking garbage. Always has been. Yeah. Because it means that they don't have to be constrained by, you know, like, the consumer regulations of selling you a product. Ugh. It's like, oh, we're not selling you a product. We're selling you a service so you can't bitch when we take it away from you yeah yeah that's why games as a service is such bullshit and the thing is is that like oh no this you is another purchased a license to play this yeah. you didn't actually purchase the game yeah 
because this is another thing, another part of the thought process is that they want to be able to take the game away from you because they don't want you to keep playing it. They want well, you that's... to consume product, buy new product, consume new product. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why this whole issue came up is because they stopped support for the crew, but they also released a sequel. Um, yeah, they're basically telling the players, like, no, fuck you. We don't care if you enjoy that still. Stop playing that. Buy this. Give us money, bitch. Yeah. It's entirely profit-driven. If you want us to play the second one, make the second one better. better. Make it a direct replacement. Or, or an improved replacement. Like, hey, these things that we bitch about, oh, you've improved them? Much better. We will play this new one. Because it's well, actually it's worth like, it. Even even that logic doesn't fully work. Because no. it's just like, you know, it's like, for example, like, oh, like, why the fuck are you still playing Bioshock? Bioshock 2 is out now. No, no, no. That, that's not what I mean. Uh, what I well, mean no, is, like, if, you if you want us to swap, you can't just ask us to swap you have to actually provide us with a reason and the old one doesn't exist anymore is not a good enough reason that's not going to get me to switch that's yeah. going to get me to abandon because fuck you but that's the thing it's like even if you convince me or like you're really convincing me like i should play this new game it's like okay but i still bought the old game I still want to have the old game because I liked playing the old game. Well, and I might let get me, the notion to play the old game again. Or, or even let me like give you I, an example like of I, kind I, of what I, I'm I, talking I about. A, I might get into a series late, but I want to play the first one. Let me get, give thing. you an example of kind of what I'm talking about. Uh, Titanfall and Titanfall 2. Titanfall is objectively worse than Titanfall 2. It just yeah. is. I'm sure people will still play it, but a lot of those people who enjoyed Titanfall moved to Titanfall 2 because it was better. Yeah. I'm not okay. saying don't they can't support or they can't provide that. I'm saying from a business perspective, if you want me to play this other game, you have to give me a reason to play it other than the one I enjoy doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Because, like, I mean, Crash Bandicoot 1 is worse than Crash Bandicoot 2 or 3. But I still like to play Crash Bandicoot 1. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just like, you know, like, it's like, oh, you know, like, nobody wants to play, you know, Super Mario Brothers anymore, like Super Mario Brothers 2 is out. <laughs> I play that shit all the time. Also the fact when, that Super Mario I mean... Brothers 2 was not a Super Mario Brothers game, but <laughs> Yeah. But that's an entirely I, uh... different gaming story. <laughs> yeah, I play those old school Mario games though, like uh when I just have some time to kill and I want to play a video game, but I don't want to get sucked in. I'll load up, I'll load up the original Mario Brothers. Just, or I'll do Super Mario World. My favorite one. Or Super Mario Brothers 3. I remember when our point that Implement brought up in his, like, his gaming on a downward spiral video is that there's just not as there's just not enough good simple games anymore. Yeah, that's that's no, damn true. Are. Well, um, that that's actually kind of why I'm excited to see He's like and you I can't tell me this. that there's not a market for simple games because how many motherfuckers no. still play Tetris? <laughs> yeah, Chris, Chris Reagan and some black guy have been bitching about it for a while. Like the gameplay is too long now. It's not. Well, like some people call like, especially Sony gets called out for it this, gets, like the movie game. The game, game. gets good forty-five hours in. 
well there, there's also the movie game complaints like oh this game is just like there's way too many like long cutscenes. there's too much talking it's like, like it's there's a, a place for those game. games some of those games can be really really good uh god of war 2018 yeah. god of war ragnarok excellently written very good yeah. story but not every game needs to be that game yeah, like, not everything uh, needs to be a multi-million dollar, like hundred million dollar budget, like fifty-hour piece. Yeah, like uh, Dina and I are playing Portal Two together right now. Excellent puzzle game. Yeah, simple. There's some stuff going on in the background. You know, there's like a little bit of a story. Well, I would say with Portal, like, just, the story just is simple, but puzzles. the mechanics are very complex but they're intuitively presented yeah and like as somebody that's played a lot of portal games i'm just sort of letting dina do her thing mm -hmm. and, and sort of like uh i'm helping that's that's it uh remember when valve made video games yeah <laughs> yep it hey, has Valve made a bad video game? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say they've made a bad game. I think they've done mediocre at best or at worst. Yeah, I'd say they've made decisions that are bad for games as a medium in an industry. Look at CSGO. Yeah, I'll agree with that. They've made bad decisions, but they've not made bad games, just mediocre games at worst. Mediocre is fine. Yeah. Hell, I thought Al Al Alex VR, uh, that, that Half-Life VR game was going to be crappy. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I kind of want to go back and play it because that was one of the best vr games i've played yeah yeah but at that the same was time, so much also, fun and don't get me wrong like it rightly brought up a lot of people were just like so what about half-life 2 episode 3 <laughs> fair they're never no, no, they're not. Yeah, that no, they're. If they did, that'd be yeah. dumb. Well, it's at extremely this point, bullshit th because of what they, the implication they made at the end of the last. Ooh, one. carrot cake. Because they directly tie Portal into the Half Life story. Yeah. <laughs> My wife now wants to open an OnlyFans for the carrot cake. Yeah, it's like, because, like, we see this okay, boat oh. frozen in the Arctic. It's like, this ship is, was made by Aperture Science. And it might be the key to beating the Combine. And it's just like, oh, yeah. and we are never going to explore that now because Valve cannot be fucked to actually make a new game. Well, part of the issue is yeah. their internal structure. They went to... You work on what you want to work on. So no one wants to work on Half-Life 3. Yeah, um, no, it's it's mainly it's Steam just makes Steam just prints fucking money. So why do anything else? Well, that's part of it. Yeah. Also, the hype for Half-Life 3 would be so high at this point, it'd be difficult to actually <laughs> um, release a proper game. I... It all, it'd be almost certainly disappointing. Yeah. But again, that's entirely Valve's fault. Rim Rimshi brought up something that I wanted to talk about, but I don't remember what it was. Now, I got distracted by cake. Um, cake. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, 
Oh, OnlyFans. Ha! <laughs> Crab only <laughs> cake. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, okay, so one thing that frustrates the shit out of me... Is... Like, I'll hear people like... Should we just post a podcast on OnlyFans? Yes. OnlyFans is just Patreon plus porn. That's not exactly true. It's supposed no, to be... It's supposed to be like a another YouTube, Twitch sort of deal. Uh, yeah. It was originally supposed to compete with that and, and cross, cross uh, work with in a Patreon sort of way. But because yeah, they allowed only, nudity on there, it got known well, for, I've, for. I've literally nudity. seen a couple of YouTubers are just like, yeah, I post like certain reaction content to an OnlyFans, just because it doesn't have the same restrictions as Patreon. Yeah, I'm less likely it, to lose it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like OnlyFans was just supposed to be Patreon plus you're allowed fact, to have nudity. An art it was like, supposed to be you post your material here and they can directly support you here. This actually happened yeah. this this actually happened this past week. An artist that I have been a Patreon supporter to for a couple of years, their Patreon got nuked. It's gone. Why? They're like your content Was any does reason not, given? Your content does not, not fit within our community guidelines. And they nuked it. Uh rough which is probably completely bullshit so it's just like they're like well great i gotta find and scramble to get on another thing to like post my stuff yeah they ended I, up getting I, a just... subscribe star but nobody uses that anymore uh yeah so like well, subscribe. There, there's more than just porn on There's more than just porn on OnlyFans. That's all I'm getting at. Like, it can be used for other things. I would like it. I would like it if more people used OnlyFans for other things because there's less restrictions. Yeah. Yeah. And the main like, reason OnlyFans why is on is getting rid of a bunch of people right now is because fucking PayPal are being assholes. Yeah. They don't... Like, Gumroad had to, like, get rid of all of the not-safe-for-work artists that were on their site because PayPal is basically holding them hostage over it. Elon, go back to PayPal. Fix their shit. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's the exact same shit that happened with Tumblr. It's just like, oh, you know, like the credit card companies decided that they aren't comfortable with people making, you know, porn art. So you have to get rid of all that shit. I'm sorry. I saw the funniest series of a guy that put a top hat on his dick. On Tumblr. <laughs> I was like, yeah. it was peak comedy. Well, <laughs> I say the credit, it was Apple that fucked Tumblr over. Yeah. To be fair, that thing was already dying. Yeah. Oh, hey, Kimmy. Long time no see. But it's just like, Kimmy! oh, yeah. All the people that built this website for us, Apple says they'll give us money if we get rid of them and throw them under the bus. So. You're my favorite pizza topping, Kimmy. Is that what you want to hear? Lude. Lude. No, no, my favorite pizza topping, my most common one is definitely uh, pepperoni. Um, but. Uh, I do like nice sausage. I like sausage. Salami. Sausage, <laughs> so, salami, salami, under, salami, salami under the cheese. I, I'm gonna probably make some enemies right here, but uh, I like pineapple on pizza. I but it's so. not your favorite pizza topping. It's uh, if yeah. I get pineapple, it has to be with meat toppings, though. Has to be. Yeah. My favorite combo of toppings is sausage, pepperoni, mushroom. 
That's my favorite trio. Mm. <laughs> I'm iffy on the mushrooms. Depends on the mushrooms and like. Well, yeah, like if they're mu mushrooms are one of those things where like if they're not good, they're awful. Well, yeah, like if you can clearly tell that it's like a canned mushroom, and it's just like the nah, it's not great. They're too yeah. salty. The slimy, even. I'd say. Fresh mushrooms, on the other hand, are like mushrooms that you cooked yourself. Yeah. Good times. All right, that counts yeah, as a food derailment. There's a pizza moment. place down the street from me. They did a Seattle dog pizza while Dino was here. That was pretty good. But it, it also oh. depends on what kind of sauce you're doing. And we like, can use this as a segue and not have it be a derailment because we have stuff about fast food. Well, the uh, longest we have stuff the... about fast food, but we've also been going for an hour and a half already. Oh. Yeah, yeah plus, the true. last time we had a derailment was in uh, December. Eh, okay. We almost, it, it, we're, we're a day short of five months without a derailment, so. Eh. Yeah. Cheesy garlic pizza. Okay, that sounds really good. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's a great base, but you ask for toppings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like some people. Cheese. You know, like, well, it depends on if like you consider the cheese a topping pizza. or not. No, cheese is a part of the thing. Yeah. Well, it depends on who you're talking if you get a to. Like, if, if you're you talking cheeseless pizza, you're a fucking monster. Well, if you get like if you get a margarita there pizza, is somebody... cheese is one of the toppings. It's not. It, it's not a given because it's there, bread with there sauce. There's somebody that I'm in a Discord server with that gets pizza without cheese, and I think they're <laughs> fucking horrific for it. Yeah. So basically what you're telling me is you know someone who's going to be the next psycho killer, the next Ted Bundy or whatever. Yeah. You need to end their life so that they don't end others. And you know what's even worse? Is it like they're a furry and their persona is a rat? Nope. Crab, shut the fuck up. California Pizza Kitchen isn't even the best pizza. It's not even... Also, it's maybe barbecue mediocre. chicken bacon pizza? Not a great pizza. Eh, it's it depends. fine. It depends on it who really, makes it, but yeah. It depends heavily it, on the sauce. If, yeah, it, on average, it's a midline, maybe, maybe slightly higher than and... midline pizza. You have to use preferably hey, uh, wait, grilled hold up, hold chicken, up. and you have to be careful about how you bake it so you don't dry it out. Time out real quick. Kimmy, I don't think food preferences equal serial killers. LMAO, unless Ted Bundy had fucked food preferences. Have he did. you heard of Jeffrey Dahmer? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he had a preference for the other other white meat. Yeah. He liked well, long he, he pig. He liked the dark meat, actually. The he long liked pig. long pig. <laughs> <laughs> you just slapped that down, Jables. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually one of the best background jokes in the pilot episode for Has Been Hotel. What, Dahmer? Yeah, because, like, um, Katie Killjoy, who is, like, um, the anchor, she's, like, talking to the main character. She's like, you're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make his cannibal cooking segment. It shows a picture of him in the background <laughs> holding a roast. It says, it's Dom good. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Cats, we didn't have a food fight. We, uh... We had a discussion about, like, favorite toppings. And then I showed Kimmy You're the was one who dipped raw. out. 
<laughs> it's not our fault you weren't here. Yeah, like some We've people just been use, doing our shit. Some people use Alfredo sauce on their pizza. Some people use ranch. Some people use barbecue sauce. Some people drill a hole into somebody's head and pour Drano in. <laughs> Yeah, but that was more on the like, oh, it'll make the mind was, but we, yeah, we, we, yeah, we won't yeah. get into that. <laughs> <laughs> he had some interesting ideas. All right, I think that's, that's a good some... place to end. Yeah, I th yeah. Let's end with murder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite pastime. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We might consider reconsider our starting time in the future, based on uh, yeah. what has happened today. Um... <laughs> oh man, cats must have got some bad gouda. Because <laughs> gouda is good. Well, it depends how big of a piece it was. No, she said it was not satisfying. She said it wasn't mm. satisfying. Not that it wasn't good. Satisfying. Yeah, fair enough. There, there right. is a difference between those words. I will give you this. Everybody, have a good night. We'll talk <laughs> to you next week. We're doing a lot of fast food shit next week. So if you're yeah. into food, next week's the time to pop it. 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The fast food community. 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, yeah. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.